speaking on the generational shift, you know, certainly the older generation, I think the cable operators could hang their hat on live TV, right? Sports, news, award shows, where we just felt like we had to, t- to have the cable package in order to tune in to the video product and watch live TV. Now with the emergence of all these streaming services and with um, the cartel um, trying to figure out um, how they can maintain revenue while still getting these live, um, you know, live TV award shows and sports and news out there, you know, how do they handle that? How, how, how do, how do they sort of, they're realizing, I think that they're, that that's not as important perhaps as it used to be. Um, but I'd love Evan, if you wouldn't mind maybe jumping in and sort of touch on that topic for a little bit, because certainly with the emergency streaming services, you know, how has that changed with live TV? We're about to find out, right? So, I mean, you, 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 I think live TV is going to be the, you know, one of the more important components. You mean with uh, the NBA when you say we're about to find out? No, I mean, many different reasons. Uh, the NBA is a really big one. Um, but, you know, we're going to have two exclusively streaming playoff football games next year. Um, you know, so really the, the, the advent of live streaming inside premium experiences is relatively new. Um, started really in earnest two years ago with uh, Amazon's Thursday Night Football. Um, and they've been delivering massive audiences as a result. And they're changing, they're about to change the nature of television advertising as a result of that as well. Um, but I think one of the key elements, so so absent Amazon Prime, you know, the churn in premium streaming has gone up 40% in the last 36 months. Um, last year, uh, premium streaming uh, signed up, all of premium streaming together, signed up 165 million new subscribers and lost 141 million subscribers. That's not a great business. Um, one in every three new signups for a premium streaming service is somebody who serial churns, mm-hmm. um, who signs up and raise your hand if you've ever done this, signs up for a service, binges the heck out of something and then cancels before the next billing cycle. And that's happening you know, more and more. And Antenna uh, says that's one in three new subscribers. So how do you keep people around? And, and by the way, this is not just important for the lifetime value from a subscription standpoint, you like when a when a subscriber churns, you also can't advertise to them. So as Netflix adds ads and Disney Plus adds ads, if someone's churned, that's lost impression. So you're losing twice. So I think that it's no accident that Netflix is moving money out of scripted and out of film into live events like Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson and the Tiger Woods golf match and the the new um, uh, uh, the the new uh, their new deal, their five billion dollar deal with World Wrestling Entertainment. Um, you know, they're, they're relocating money into utility programming, live appointment viewing, um, you know, Peacock and their, their exclusive streaming game. And, and what's interesting is despite my, my predictions to the contrary, Peacock kept a lot of those subscribers. They signed up for that, for that playoff game. Um, and so, you know, it, it's, I think as more and more sports moves over to, premium streaming. I think live will be, you know, live events, uh, live finales of reality shows, just like on the TV, um, live news, uh, CNN on max, mm. um, you know, uh, and in the fast area, you know, news is the biggest, most watched, most utilized genre of content. So I think it's, 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 I think live is going to be one of the fastest growing areas of the content economy. I also think ultimately for retention and the business model, recurring live utility programming, daily news, shows like The Daily Show that might show up on on streaming uh, uh, services, I think are going to be more and more important. That's also going to, as I said before, put even more stress on the infrastructure. Um, you know, like if, if, if in, in, in India, Reliance ha- gets about 54 million people live for cricket matches streaming. I don't know. I don't know that the American, I, which is odd because America, you would think, be more advanced than any other country in the world. But I don't know that our our streaming infrastructure can handle. Um, the streamers can handle it going out, but the bottlenecks in our neighborhood, where the broadband splinters and goes into in my neighborhood, you know, a thousand apartment buildings, each with a hundred apartments in it. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know that 
when a huge playoff game that isn't a blowout and is exclusively available on uh, on uh, a pay service happens. I think you're going to, again, we're, I think we're about to see what's going to happen as live becomes a bigger, bigger part of the streaming diet. Bridget, we'd like to add anything more to this well, transition. I would just say, I love that when Evan describes that, it makes me think of fiber to the node. I remember that so well, again, colloquial terms of just the era, but they're seeing it again. And I, Evan, you're in New York city, right? So that that's its own situation. But I do know for a fact that where I grew up, which is, you know, remote Southeast Alaska, even, and the, and the cable operator there has shifted to an IPTV delivery or is in process of doing that. So even just the Super Bowl that we just had, um, do you guys remember back in the day, there would be these things that would make it to the front page of multi-channel news or, you know, some during the Super Bowl, someone would have cut the cord, you know, at a head end out there in Wichita or something. And the whole community was up in arms because they'd missed a huge live event because someone had sabotaged the cable system, right? You know, hate my cable operator or something. What is that? That's vandalism and, you know, vigilante, to take an expression, vigilante blank. But it's happening already in these communities where you have shifted more, you know, a different smaller cable MSO, MVPD has shifted already to an IPTV platform. And when you have huge live sports, for instance, and all of that needs to get sent through the system, there are big glitches and they have blackout and they miss 20 minutes of the game. And that stuff is already happening. And I think that to your point about the exclusive NFL games on Peacock, that was going to be a very big test to see how the technology would, would handle it. And it was an interesting, I don't think that they had short of a couple different things. They didn't have a massive um, blackout anywhere in any community, I don't think. No, not that I saw. Yeah. Thank you. Doug, anything to add? One of the things we've lost in the shift to streaming is, is uh, these, you know, massive communal events. The TV viewing used to have a very large social component, right? Uh, there was a community aspect to it and there's, there's very little of it that can actually, you know, there's, well, first of all, there's, um, you know, there's nothing that, that people are watching uh, uh, real time, right. Or live. And, uh, and then audiences are so splintered. So sport, I think sports is still a, a unique thing. I mean, you could look at like the, look at the ratings and what proportion of the top telecasts or football or, you know, it's just, you know, it, it's become, I don't know, Evan, maybe it was your quote. Was it your quote recently? I saw that, uh, TV is becoming breaks between sports or something like that. Yeah. Break, uh, breaks between live events. I mean, because yeah. 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 You can include, you know, things like Macy's Day Parade, but nothing is like the NFL, to be honest. Right. right. Yeah. So, or I mean, even, you know, you look at like the, the women's NCAA uh, basketball final or whatever. So, um, yeah, the, I think the relative value of those kinds of events is only going up. 